Check it out, folks. You see I got the man next to me representing the West Coast since I moved out here to Vegas. I'm just gonna let you know, you didn't already read the thumbnail, you know we doing the West Coast Tri-Tip. All right, so look, I want you guys to pay attention to this. What I wanted to show you was, look at which way the grain is going. I'm gonna use my knife just to go ahead and show you. This part of the tri-tip is going this way, right? So obviously, just like we do with the brisket, you don't wanna cut it here, get a shred your meat. So once we have it cooked, we are gonna cut this way, right? You wanna cut across the grain. Now, CJ, explain this part right here about this valley and all that. Okay, so you'll see that the grains run different directions. So AB explained this way. This way you can see the grains going totally opposite so we're gonna cut it right down the valley after we're cooking so right for demonstration demonstration purposes that's how this is run right and the best way to get the best cuts of your tri-tip is to cut against the grain really thin on a bias and we'll demonstrate that later i'm gonna have you do the seasoning all right go ahead and put the binder on right. this right here this is a garlic infused olive oil you know i'm gonna just put a little bit on here remember this don't go a long way this is just enough to get it tacky mm. it adds a little bit of flavor too but it gets enhanced, you know, once you put your rub on there, right? right? And you gotta remember, we didn't trim off all the fat because fat is flavor. You don't wanna mess with that. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm trying to tell people that's forever, bro. <laughs> I keep telling my wife that. <laughs> all right, so for the seasoning, we're gonna use the Level Up B-side right there. There you go. All right. Now look, this right here is for like your heavier meat. Look at the color and look at the coating. I'm gonna it's go ahead. gorgeous. Here. There you go. Look at that. Right. All right, give it a flip. Oh yeah, pat it down. Don't rub it, you gotta pat it down. Right. Uh, I love this. You come help me with my barbecue all the time. <laughs> hey, this, <laughs> hey, this all part of the design no. next to the flavor. You know what I mean? It's got to hit and sit right. All right. And that pepper on that beef with the mesquite, stop it. Right. The reason I put a tray right here, because yep. everybody don't understand it, because a lot no. of times I'm on here, but whatever I get, any of my residual, right? Especially the edges. Catch any sides you miss. There you go. And don't be a rookie and don't season the edges. Season it all the way around. There you go. And then when you're done, it should look like that. If that's not no seasoned tri-tip, man, that's a nice piece of beef right there. No, I'm know. serious. Look at that right there. There ain't nothing better than a tri-tip. I know I'm biased, but come on. <laughs> let that set, and we'll get right. it on that grill. So we're gonna let this sit up for about, I'd say about, let it sit for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check this grill. Let's wow. get this up to temp. Here we go. Okay, so look, now we're about to get down. You guys can't see it, but right now we just opened it up just to look. But listen, it's holding, holding that 350 perfectly. Look now, if you guys pay attention right here, look, this is the direct zone, right? That's where your direct heat is coming from. And we got a water trough right here. Everybody's not gonna have one of these little, you know, little trays right here to have it separate. All you need to do is get yourself an aluminum pan, you know, put it inside of here, fill it with water, and use the opposite side of the aluminum can, I mean pan, to keep your coals up to one side. Now, right. we're gonna put this down. Now, I'm gonna show you something, folks. Hey, go ahead and explain this. All right, so you want your thickest part of the meat towards the heat, so that way you're cooking more evenly. The thin spot at the edge of the tri-tip right there, right, it'll right cook here. way too quickly right. if it's right on the heat. Right. So put your thickest part towards the heat. Right there. And you're gonna get all that good smoke. And the way we set up our kettle here, we're gonna shut this down. So our smoke is gonna roll this way over the kettle. There you go. And then out the vent, right over that tri-tip. So we're gonna have plenty of that smoke flavor on the tri-tip. Good stuff. Look, we are looking for a temperature of 125 degrees, right? And if you ask me, I'ma just say this, you gotta have one of these, right? This is an instant read thermometer, because look, how else we gonna know when it get to 125? After we get to 125, what we know? Listen, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it on the hot, direct side, and we're gonna sear up both sides of that tri-tip, pull it off, let it rest, done deal, baby. So look, we gonna come in here and take a look at this right now. We looking for 125, right? So I just hit it right there, put it in the center. Where are we at right now? Let's say 120, okay. Then I'm gonna try another spot over here. Remember, look, that's 126. Of course, this is gonna be a little bit more, you know, with the temp, carrying a little bit more temp, because we have this, the thick side, up against the heat, right? So now I'm gonna come back here and check my friend back here who just been chilling on the beach. You know what I mean? <laughs> we go over here like this. And that's at one, you know, 129. This right here is nice. So check it out. We're gonna leave this open, right? 
because I'm going to take this off right now and I'm going to let this start to rest and just come down on its own. I want to go ahead and build up a little heat right here because what we're going to do, folks? We're going to sear off this, this hey, bad bro, boy right I, here. Hey, check it out. Whenever I go to you, you be so technical and for real with it. All right, we're going to burn it. We're going to put some <laughs> fire underneath that steak, all right? Okay, so look, this has been resting up, what about, I'll say about, like about 12, 13 minutes. Really just put this over the top because we're not trying to let it rest all the way. What I was trying to do is just like keep it, you know, keep the elements off of it, like the, the flies and all of that, right? So now, oh, yeah, I see you ready. See Dude, you. this thing's fired up. Okay. We're gonna get the flame on there. So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this right down over the top, folks. And then you guys have heard it a million times, direct heat. Dude, that sizzle is for real, baby. Okay, so look, we got it over here over the top, right? So listen, when you got a nice flame like that and it's radiating that heat underneath the bottom, we only need about one minute, folks. You know what I mean? And so the beauty of it is, listen, I don't have to like try to struggle, get this and then move it out the right, way. You, spin you know what I mean? I'm spinning, right. Take this temp off. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see the beautifulness that is that tri-tip. Remember we talked about earlier about like when it relax, you know what I mean? What's internally in there, tries to get as much back, you know, into the into the meat. But then you can look at this right here, and let you know that we good. So look, I'm finna go ahead and do my thing, bro. All right. All right. So what we talked about, we're gonna slice right down that valley right there. Right down the valley, right? So just go ahead and cut that like that. Well, let's show them Pull what's that up. Out. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Don't worry, folks. Stay with me, because some of y'all are probably saying, it's I can't. I, it's too <laughs> pink. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, so you can see these grains are running like this. OK, right. and then on that one, AB show them. Look, and you can see these. You can still see them. All right, first, let me just go ahead and get this piece out, this way. out of the way. You know what I mean? We'll get that. That'll be for the camera. Oh, you said the that camera person. That, that, that may or may not yeah. be already spoken for. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, right. It's a nice and thin. Oh, yeah. And you see them juices. Tell me that on a sandwich. Ain't gonna blow oh. your mind. Look at that right there, folks. Okay, folks, look, you saw me. I just tried to appease everybody, you know what I mean? Just like, look, get it nice. You can see it's cooked through. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that like that. You guys just see that that had that mayo toasted, you know, bun. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. I don't know about you, CJ. I might even do this. You see this little groove, juice groove? Oh, right? it's gotta go in there. Oh, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I'm just eating it straight. There you go. Mm. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, down. Mm. Bottom line is, listen, I have never ever did a tri-tip on here. Me and him make them. I go to his pad. I think he got them like baloney. I really would <laughs> like to see. I really would like to see your deep freezer, bro. Oh man, because you always got one of these. Always. You see, it's me, my boy right here, CJ, known as Cooking with CJ. Check him out. I want to tell you, like, if you've seen the infomercial, you probably done already seen him on there already. What is that you do? That the you Ninja do? Foodie Grill. Yeah, this is Mr. Ninja Foodie right here. Always rocking that air fryer. That's right. <laughs> hey, so with that being said, you guys make this. If you had tri-tip, you got some suggestions, anything you want to see me try or something like that, let me know down in the comment section below. And with that being said, listen, if you're new, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and guess what, folks? We out. Peace. Peace.